Hello! We are on clan generator today. So I thought it would be I, I thought it would be fun to do something a bit different. Something something less based around art and you know just playing the game. But I want to mix things up a little. So I am doing the Clan Gen Loner Challenge, which was created by Minty Roo on Discord, I believe. That is how you pronounce their name. So let's read through the challenge. So first of all, I haven't read through this yet. So we're gonna figure out what this challenge is all about, or all the all the specific rules for the challenge before we before I, I even start. So leader automatically choose deputy is off. Uh, off. Okay, that's it apparently. Okay. Rules: create a clan, choose your leader, deputy, medicine cat. Da, 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 da. Just make sure you bring in a kit or more okay so just you know bring bring all the babies so let's get started i've already thought of a name for this clan just because i i don't know i thought it would be I, I thought this name sounded cool we are naming this clan silent clan let's see here Ooh, these are some cool oh well there's there are two kits um oh you're cool some cool cats but brightheart is that you <laughs> um but there's only two kittens. Um, let's let's refresh. Okay, three kittens this time. Frond kit, blue kit, and flurry kit. Hmm. I just say we refresh until we get like uh something more interesting. Oh, pale kit, heather kit, holly kit. You know, we'll go with these guys. Okay. Uh, so of course we can't pick our leader. We'll just say that uh, uh, green star was our leader. This was our deputy, and this was... yep. So now we can recruit the babies. And now, when is it going to let us? Okay, now we can go. Random background. Tide pools. You know, I like... I like the beach. We'll just go with the beach. <laughs> and now that we have our clan, we are going to kill everyone. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so... We are. Oh. Oh. Can we not? Oh. I didn't know this was a thing. Okay. How did this cat die? Um. What What's the mass extinction event here? Um. They flood. This cat died in a flood, which killed all of their clanmates except for the kittens. Now I'll copy that. And now, um, they died in a flood, which killed all their clan mates, except for the kittens. It, it worked. Oh, and we've got an apprentice as our, as our star clan guide. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at our kits. We have Heather Kit, a male kit with gray eyes, a ticked pelt, long fur, three moons old. He is a charming kitten, an avid play fighter, and he is absolutely adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. What is this up here? What is that for? I don't know what this black bar is, but uh, whatever. Holly Kit is keeping their fur nice and clean. He is, he has heather blue eyes. He's a bangle cat, or his pelt is bangle. Long fur, He's polite and never said something to you. Oh no, you're an avid play fighter. Very polite. Polite young man. Pale kit wants to- oh, well, there's no medicine cat. A young female kitten. Hazel eyes. Short fur. Classic tabby. Two moons old. A daydreamer and never sits still. Okay. So the po whole point here is, you know, all of your clan has been wiped out, leaving these three kits, and your goal is to reform your clan. And so maybe we, we can only hope that Heather Kit, Holly Kit, and Pale Kit are able to reform their clan. So let's see what happens. We time skip. There's no deputy, no leader, and no medicine cats. The Past Moon, Sunny Bat, Green Star, Bay Chasm, and Lemon Flicker have taken their place in Stark. Silent Clan mourns their loss and their clanmates will miss where they had been in their lives. 
Moments of their lives are shared in stories around the circle of mourners as those that were closest to them take them to their fa Oh, the babies had to bury every- Oh, that's so sad. Pale Kit is shaken by the death, so Pale Kit is in shock because of what's happened. This is so sad. Let's look at, let's look at relationships. Pale Kit had a disagreement with Heather Kit about something or other. Heather Kit is prancing around in front of Holly Kit, and Holly Kit is sharing tongues with Pale Kit. Okay, so maybe, maybe Heather Kit is spending more time with Holly Kit, and because Pale Kit is so shaken up, she feels as though her den mates are leaving, are leaving her behind. But Holly Kit understands that, that Pale Kit is shaken up and is trying to spend time with her. Maybe that's, that's what's going on. Heather Kit is chasing their tail. Holly Kit- I was right! Look at that! That's so cute! Oh my gosh. Holly Kit is worried about Pale Kit. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see what their, their actual relationships look like. <gasps> Heather Kit has a crush on Holly- I didn't know the Kits could have crushes on each other. And Holly Kit has a crush on Heather Kit. They have little crushes on each other. And then there's Pale Kit. Poor Pale Kit. Yeah, do, not a whole lot of like for Heather Kit. She, she finds comfort in him, probably because he's, you know, one of the few cats left in her clan. So she feels comfort around him, has a little bit of respect, a little bit of trust, but ugh, not liking him too much. But she seems to really like Holly Kit, which is really cute. But Holly Kit has a crush on Heather Kit, but is fonder of Pale Kit, platonically. Heather Kit likes Holly Kit romantically has a little bit of a crush. Lots of comfort, lots of platonic like, nothing else, except for a little, little bit of, little tiny bit of trust. And then Pale Kit, platonic like, a little bit of dislike for Pale Kit, but a little bit of respect, comfort, and trust as well. So we can't exactly do anything here because they're kits, we cannot go out on patrol. They're all in the, oh, well, no, they're out of the nursery. <laughs> Okay, Heather Kit's chasing their tail, worried about Pale Kit. Pale Kit tries to sneak out of camp. Maybe, maybe they're trying to find, like, like they're in denial of what's happened. And they're like, maybe, maybe my family is, um, is just, they, they're outside of camp. They need to be saved. And Holly Kit is super worried about her and doesn't want her to run off. Time skip. Pale Kit is no longer in shock. Aren't you supposed to be, oh no, you're five months old. Okay. I thought, I thought you were ready to be. An apprentice. Pale Kit is no longer in shock. Let's look at relationships. Pale Kit thinks they can tell Holly Kit something important. Heather Kit just noticed how beautiful Pale Kit's eyes are? Oh, okay. Holly Kit is hoping that Pale Kit notices them. Are they all developing crushes on each other? Pale Kit has a crush on Holly Kit. Holly Kit has crushes on both Pale Kit and Heather Kit. And Pale- they all have crushes on each- what is- okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so Heather Kit has a crush on both Pale Kit and Holly Kit. And Holly Kit has a crush on both Pale Kit and Heather Kit. And Pale Kit has a crush on Holly. What in the world? I've never seen this happen. Especially not with Kits, but okay. Holly Kit here is closest with Pale Kit. I think they should get together because Heather Kit is being mean. But it doesn't look like, um, yeah, it looks like, it looks like they're getting along better, which is, which is cute. Heather Kit dreams about being a warrior. Holly Kit wants to snuggle. And Pale Kit is worried about Heather Kit. Uh-oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Heather Kit noticed her. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Heather Kit. Heather Kit's like, Pale Kit, I, I never noticed how beautiful your hazel eyes are. And Pale Kit's like, oh god. Oh god, something's wrong with him. No! Holly Kit, something's wrong with him. He's... Uh, I think he's sick. <laughs> okay, time skip. Oh my god. Okay, Heather Paw wishes they had someone to mentor them. Holly Paw is a medicine cat apprentice. Oh my gosh. And Holly Paw was given. So, okay, Heather Paw gave Holly Paw. Jay Feathers is congratulations, and Pale Kit is getting jealous. Oh my god, that's so cute. Pale Kit saw Holly Kit being considerate, very cute. Heather Paw is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Holly Kit. Holly Paw compliments Heather Paw on how sharp his claws are today. Heather Paw was put on. <laughs> 
<laughs> you were babysitting Pale Kit, the kit who is literally only a month younger than you. Holly Paws like, you need to you need to get along. So I'm putting you on your very first apprentice task. You're being put on kit sitting duty. And Heather Paws like, but I am still a kit. I'm only six moons old. Or maybe maybe he wouldn't say that. Oh, he's playful now. He was he was um what was he before? Was he charming? Was he charming before? Either way, Holly Paws like, you two need to get along. I'm putting you on Kit sitting duty. And he Heather Paws like, no. And Pale Kit like, is telling Heather Kit another story. <laughs> oh, so that must be why Heather Paw is not, is not having it with Pale Kit. Um, <laughs> okay, so, okay. Kit sitting duty... Holly Paw is trying to recruit other apprentices for a quick adventure, so she's trying to recruit Heather Paw to go on a little adventure. And then we already saw Pale Kit. Okay, so let's see. Relationships. Lots of security. No longer has a crush on Pale Kit. So he must have just been sick. He must have just been sick, as Pale Kit was concerned about. Because there's nothing here anymore. But still has a crush on Holly Paw. But feels very secure around her. Him. Him. This is a guy. I forgot. Two guys, one girl. Holly Paw no longer has a crush on Pale Kit. What's happened to Pale Kit? Oh, I think it's because they aged up. I think I think that once cats age up and do like, like if a, kit, if a cat goes from kit to apprentice or apprentice to a warrior, if they have a crush on cats that are out of their age range or out of the are still apprentices while they're okay i think i understand what happened but for lore reasons maybe maybe something happened maybe they're too focused on apprentice duties now and they they're spending more time with each other now and they're in a way leaving pale kit behind a pale kit no longer has a crush on them because they're apprentices uh but oh wait 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 let's just see still fonder of holly paw not as fond of heather paw clearly um Okay, so, but we can go on patrol now, so let's send out Holly Paw to go on her first medicine cat patrol. Holly Paw heads out to find Tansy, scenting the air for its sharp smell and eyes on the lookout for Tansy's strange orb-like yellow flowers that Greenleaf has brought out. How does she know this? How does she know this? Uh, can't harvest from plants. They haven't complimented better safe than sorry, as they say. So you didn't, you don't have anything. We have Lungwort. Maybe maybe she's being guided by one of the dead cats. Watching Silent Clan ready to send an omen. So, we might get an omen soon. Looking to visit- Oh, yep, yep. Yep, he, She's he's being guided by the cats in Star Clan. Looks like- looks like Holly Kit is being- is being looked over by Baychasm. Who's so trying to send Holly Kit a dream. But Sunny Bat is also, uh, th she's also ready to send an omen. And you're thinking about future prophecies to send with Sunny Bat. So, yeah, it looks like he Holly Paw is being trained by the dead cats in Star Clan. That's really interesting. Okay. Heather Paw can go out alone. Oh, no. Heather Paw? Heather Paw. Heather Paw is tempted to eat the prey they just caught. After all, this is their practice. They're only practicing hunting, right? So this is theirs. It doesn't count as a, as a true hunting, but ha Heather Paw? Heather Paw eats the prey, but later they feel terrible about it, slinking slinking around guiltily and ashamed for the rest of the day. Ha Heather Paw. I can't remember. The, the H names are throwing me off. Heather Paw. Why did you do that? That's bad. Okay, so Pale Kit is going to be an apprentice. Pale Paw wonders if they can get by without the guidance of a mentor. We can only hope. Pale Paw says Hol Pale Paw said Holly Paw said saw Holly Paw the other day but didn't get a chance to meow hello. Heather Paw wants to spend more time with Holly Paw. Heather Paw feels disappointed after miscatch. This is why you don't eat the prey that you caught. You're supposed to bring that back for your buddies. He's a restless sleeper too. Okay. Holly Paw is trying to recruit other pr again for a quick adventure. Where are you going? Pale Paw is daydreaming about having a mate and kit someday. Oh, oh! Pale Paw is in, is she she wants to have a mate and kits with Holly Paw. Okay, so we're back to 
we're back to all having crushes on each other. Okay, except for Pale Paw having a crush on Heather Paw. He does not deserve this. <laughs> he does not deserve to have a crush on him from Pale Paw. Um, but now they can all go out on patrol together. Maybe maybe we can send out Heather Paw and Pale Paw together. Maybe they'll start getting along. Or we can send out Pale Paw with Holly Paw. Might be good to get more more herbs. But hmm. Let's actually let's uh I was gonna pull up my phone to randomize it, but we can just randomize it here. So Heather Paw. Actually no. We're gonna put Holly Paw here. And then randomize it. So okay, so Pale Paw's going. As the co as the apprentices head out to collect cobwebs, Pale Paw screws up their face into a stupid expression around the stick they hold in their mouth. <laughs> Murping? Murping. Murping with laughter. I don't know what that means. Something with laughter. Holly Paw clacks the stick they hold in their mouth against Pale Paw. <laughs> the stick fashion continues as they collect cobwebs and the afternoon is filled with the apprentices murd muffled purrs and oh my god that's so funny as heather paw passes along the sand between the waves and some rock pools they find one of the oddest things they've ever seen an octopus on land it's clearly trying to head for the ocean heather paw watches the rolling uncoordinated twisting mass of limbs completely weirded out the small octopus is almost to sea before Heatherpaw thinks to catch the thing, and in the resulting undignified scramble, the octopus gets away entirely. Heatherpaw does not seem to be a good hunter. He either fails to catch prey or he just eats it. Feels disappointed. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Did I already look at the. Oh, no. I did already look at these. She's now strict and never. Was she already. Did she already have the never sit still thing? Um. Oh, boy. Only five? Man, these guys are gonna be apprentices forever at this rate. Yeah, let's keep going. Five moon. Hollypaw has fleas. You're the medicine cat. You're not supposed to have a fleet. You're supposed to keep up with that. Oh no. Oh, well, okay. Something happened with you. Successfully lightened a dreary mood while training. Has been training very hard lately. Is grateful to Holly Paw for their treatment. Over what? What happened to you? Relationships. Pale Paw notices how Holly Paw is being helpful around camp. Well, I'd hope so. I I'd hope so. Heather Paw thinks Holly Paw is very helpful. So Holly Paw is very helpful. Just in general. Very helpful around camp. Hollypaw appreciates Heatherpaw telling them they had a feather stuck to their face. Closer to Hollypaw still, but is still has some feelings for Palepaw. Is more interested in Heatherpaw romantically, but seems to be closer to Palepaw everywhere else. And then nothing for Heatherpaw, good. And Hollypaw closest with him with a bit of a crush. Okay. Let's send out Hollypaw. Who is she going with? Heatherpaw this time, okay. As the patrol pads out into Silent Clan territory, Heatherpaw tells Hollypaw about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for Silent Clan. So Heatherpaw, Heatherpaw had a dream. Hollypaw shakes their head sadly, sadly they can't make sense of the vision. So maybe, oh wait, the Star Clan cats were talking about sending a vision. Did they send a vision to, to, he, to Heatherpaw? Nothing here says, any, or nothing, I don't, I don't see anything that's like suspicious. Oh, Pale Paw is checking along the border lines when they hear a startling sound, a hiss of pain. They quickly follow the sound to the source. It's a loner and they appear to be injured. Proceed. Pale Paw approaches cautiously. The loner lifts their head and asks for help. Pale Paw agrees they can't leave a fellow cat today. Aldrich! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, for those who don't know, I have I have an OC named Aldrich. Aldrich? Aldrich. Aldrich? Is it Aldrich or Aldrich? Oh god, now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't know how to pronounce this. Oh no. Oh no. How do I pronounce the name of my own OC? It's Aldrich. Okay, so I was I was right about in in the way I was Okay. Aldrich. Interesting cuz that's a man that's as far as I know that's a male name, but it's a girl. Interesting. Okay, but oh boy, that's it. That's a. Ooh, I didn't know you you could get cats with that name in here. That's interesting. That's that's really interesting. That's cool. She looks nothing like my OC though, and and you're you're confident and excellent teacher. So nothing like like my Aldrich, Aldrich. Oh my God, nothing like my Aldrich. My Aldrich, is horrible and awful. But oh my gosh, that's our first new cat. Holly Paul, will you be able to take care of him? Her? Oh my god. Okay, that's, that's everyone, right? We sent out everyone? Aldrich is looking around the camp with wonder. Claw wound. You got a claw wound. 
Aldrich used to live in a barn, but mostly stayed away from Two Legs. They decided clan life might be an interesting change of pace. They're 94 months old. Okay. Hollypaw no longer has fleas. Palepaw has been listening to Heatherpaw talk about how hard a training has been. Oh, maybe, maybe finally Palepaw's like, okay, I'll hear you out. Maybe you aren't actually as awful as I thought you were. And, and, and Heatherpaw admitted that, that he's having a harder time than he lets on and Palepaw is starting to feel bad for him. And, and the reason that he's been so awful to her is because he's just so stressed and scared about everything and, and Palepaw being, you know, maybe not as confident or, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a wimp compared to him. Maybe he was taking all of his, his stress, uh, taking out all of his stress on her because of that. And she realizes that he doesn't actually hate her. Although, you know, that's still a pretty awful thing to do. Heather Paw realized they were too harsh in their judgment of Eldritch. Maybe, maybe, maybe when Pale Paw brought him in, he he was like, why did you bring this random, this, this random girl in here? Who, who is this? And like, was initially very judgmental. And then slowly realized like, oh, no, Aldrich, Aldrich is really here to help. Hollypaw tried to bring Palepaw's behavior up to them, but it turned into a fight that so- <gasps> No! Why did Palepaw and Hollypaw fight? Don't fight, you're supposed to be body- Do you think- Did- Did Heatherpaw break up their fight? Or did Aldrich break up their fight? Oh, no, Aldrich is surprised by Hollypaw. Well, she is thoughtful. Aldrich covered for Hollypaw on something- He- He's- He's mentoring both Palepaw and Heatherpaw? What? Is that- wait a minute. Interesting, okay, so- so- Oh my god, I keep forgetting Aldrich- Aldrich is a girl. The genders of these cats I'm getting all mixed up on. Okay. He's- she- oh my god. <laughs> She's mentoring Palepaw and Heatherpaw. Lectures Palepaw and the warrior- what is happening? Okay, so Palepaw's the only one that has, like, a, any any sort of relationship with Aldrich. She likes her. A little bit of respect, a little bit of comfort, a little bit of trust. Still closest with Hollypaw. Um, has a crush on, on him. Uh, slowly, see, she seems to be slowly warming up to Heatherpaw. Maybe, maybe the talk they had helped a bit. Let's see. Oh, where's... Okay, just Palepaw. So they're, they're... They feel positively about each other. I mean, I mean, she is the one who brought her into the clan. Heatherpaw, a little bit of crush on Palepaw. A little bit of dislike. It's slowly going away, though. Um, but yeah, generally fonder of, of Hollypaw. And also has a bigger crush on, on him. Yeah, Hollypaw's closest still with Palepaw. But has a bigger crush on Heatherpaw still. Okay, so, so things are about the same still. Um... Palepaw had quite the adventure today. Hollypaw is heading to the dirt- oh, thank you, we, did, we didn't need to know that. Thank you, though. Lectures Palepaw on the Warrior Code was recently caught humming to themselves. Okay. Um, okay, so the, our, our double patrol. We're gonna have Hollypaw and Heatherpaw. These two go out. In order to spice up their patrol, Hollypaw challenges Heatherpaw to an herb gathering competition. The game is on. Heatherpaw, Hollypaw and Heatherpaw are quite evenly matched, and both their mentors are pleased with the herbs they bring back. You've only got one mentor, and the other one of you only has... They're being trained by Star Clan. Okay. Palepaw's going out. Palepaw comes across a bird. Let's go there for insects. Palepaw catches the bird. Okay. While we're here, let's look at Star Clan. See what else is happening. Is discussing clan matters with Lemon Flicker, watching over a clan ceremony. Maybe, maybe, maybe they held a ceremony to like officially name Aldrich as a member of the clan. Mind the stars in their fur. Doesn't want to talk to. Uh oh. <laughs> Wonder what happened here. All right, time skip. Nothing. Okay. Pale Paw thinks that Heather Paw was nice to the. Oh, Heather Paw was nice to Pale Paw today. Heatherpaw thinks the prey Palepaw is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Hollypaw comes, with a, comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Heatherpaw. Aldrich, Aldrich, oh my god, I gotta get used to that. Aldrich saw Heatherpaw being considerate. Aldrich stands tall when Hollypaw walks by. Hollypaw is the medicine cat, though. So it, it looks like Heatherpaw is, is, you know, getting better. Aldrich is looking around camp. Thoughtful, excellent teacher. 
a little bit of respect for Heatherpaw. Um, yeah, it looks like it, it's about the same for Palepaw. Heatherpaw... Oh, no, dislike for Palepaw grew again. Okay, you were doing so good. Oh, and I think his crush shrank a bit. Is practicing sparring with Pale Paw. Do you like Pale Paw or not? Wonders how Aldrich is doing. I don't know. You're the medicine cat, Holly Paw. <laughs> this looks about the same. Maybe maybe some minor changes here, but still closer with Pale Paw. But s bigger crush on Heather Paw. Um, Pale Paw doesn't dislike Heather Paw anymore, so that's good. Um, still not overly fond of 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 him. Still pretty close with Hollypaw, fond of, of Aldrich. Okay, let's look at let's look at Star Clan really quick. Curious about the other clans. Serious fifth Green Star. Okay, nothing. Okay. Our double patrol. Pale Paw. Pale Paw's going out with Hollypaw today. As the apprentices head out to collect cobwebs. Oh my I, this again. Pale Paw screws up their face into a stupid expression around the stick they hold in their mouth. The again. <laughs> uh, oh, they end up completely ruining what they've gathered. Oh, you guys. You guys. While on patrol, Heatherpaw notices some suspicious paw prints in the wet sand on the beach. The paw prints lead to a trespassing rogue. Heatherpaw quickly hides themselves in the grass on the sand dunes and sets up, sets up an ambush that lets them lets them pretend to be a, to be far bigger and more Oh my god. That lets them pretend to be a far bigger and more impressive fighter, sending the rogue fleeing off into- Okay. So Heatherpaw fought off a rogue. All on his own. Wow. Did we look at these? Look here on camps. Farming with own town. Okay. Yeah, we, we looked at these. Time skip. Um. Yeah, time skip. Hollypaw was trying to fluff up their nest when they saw a thorn inside their bedding. Another prank, but it could not fool them. Heatherpaw. <laughs> Unless it was Pale Paw or Audrey. Oh, look at you. She's all better though. I, I saw I saw that she she recovered but has the scar now. Pale Paw appreciates Aldrich Aldrich. I gotta get used to that. Aldrich telling them they have they had a feather stuck to their face. Heather Paw saw Holly Paw show up a skill they never knew they had. Holly Paw is wow wow wowed by how bravely Pale Paw fought the other day. Aldrich is surprised to hear Hollypaw express an ideal they can agree with. Aldrich, Palepaw, and Heatherpaw took a sunbath and had a little small talk. Oh, okay, so it's a lot of, uh, just, you know. It seems to be growing fonder of Palepaw. Uh, a little bit of, like, growing for Heatherpaw. Um, oh! Wow, you really like Palepaw now, but you still don't like her too much. Or you still have a bit of dislike for her. Um... I'm still pretty fond of Holly Paw. A little bit of like growing for Aldrich. God, you're very pretty. Um, was that there before? Did she dislike? Did 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 he did he dislike Pale Paw before? I hope not. Um. Oh, did you dislike Holly Paw before? What? Why do you dislike each other? Don't dislike each other. Um. Let's see here. None of these are negative. So what happened? Okay. So we'll send out Aldrich. Oh, whoops. With... Pale... Okay, so mentor and apprentice get to go out. As the, as the patrol passes along the sand between the waves and some rock pools, they find one of the oddest things any of them have... Any of them have ever seen. An octopus on land. It's clearly trying to head for the ocean. Palepaw pounces, feeling almost sorry for the sea creature, which is too small to put up... Put up. Okay, so Palepaw's a really good hunter, it looks like. Um... And then you guys get to go together. God. Oh, not this again. <laughs> exactly the same thing, but they ruined all the cobwebs. Okay. Um, do we look at these? Aldrich is craving the taste of rabbit. Heatherpaw successfully lightened a dreary mood while training. Probably with Hollypaw. Hollypaw might, might have been, like, stressed. Yeah, Hollypaw, I think, was stressed about what was, you know, going on in the clan. Being the only medicine cat and... You know, all that. And Heather Paul, you know, pulled off the thing he did with, with the the sticks and the cobwebs to try and lighten him up. Is participating in a rather rigor rigorous training session with Aldrich, I assume. 
Did we look at these already? Is judging Aldrich. Maybe he's like, maybe, maybe, maybe Green Star is like, Maybe she thinks that, that, that Aldrich doesn't really belong in the clan. Wants to send him- Oh, send a message to Pale Pop out? What? Are you warning Pale Pop out something? <gasps> Silent clan rallies around Heatherpaw in celebration. Even without a leader, life must go on, and Heatherpaw has proven that they are ready for their warrior name. Heatherpaw is allowed to choose their own suffix, and they name themselves Heatherbounce. The clan honors the new warrior, honoring their intelligence. Oh, look at him. He's so pretty. He's a he's wise, a strange dreamer, and a good fighter. So he's he seems to have calmed down a bit. Um, they're mentored by Aldrich. Aldrich in influenced them to be more likely to heed their inner compass. Aldrich helps helped them become better at fighting. When they graduated, they were honored for their intelligence. They graduated at 12 moons old. Okay. Tries to set a good example for younger cats. Has been coming up with complicated riddles for fun. Oh my god, he's turning into a nerd. Holly- Oh, you're so pretty. Look at you. Holly Paw's craving the taste of frog. So Holly Paw must- That must be Holly Paw's favorite prey. Pale Paw is still- Still participating in a rather rigorous training session. <laughs> Again. Is watching Silent Clan ready to send an- Oh, okay, so something's happening. Something's gonna happen. And they're trying to warn them. Pale Paw in particular, it looks like. Um, let's look at relationships. Pale Paw is surprised by Aldrich being thoughtful. Heather Paw or Heather Bounce surprises Pale Paw with something nice. Holly Paw shared an embarrassing story about Heather Bounce they were asked not to share. Oh no. Maybe Hollypaw's getting jealous of Heather Bounce for spent starting to spend more time with Pale Paw. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, um Aldrich sees Pale Paw's piece of prey and asks if they'd like to swap. They happily agree, saying that they like the one better. Aldrich appreciates how Heather Bounce always seems to ask how they're doing. Okay. Um What is this? I've had this like pop up every once in a while. I don't understand what this is. Um, okay, so it seems to be- to feel about the same for both of these guys. A little more platonic-like for Pale Paw, but a little more respect and comfort for Heather Bounce. Heather Bounce is closest with Holly Paw still. Still has a little bit of a crush, but it's slowly dwindling, and he no longer has a crush on Pale Paw, probably because they're- he's, like, aged out of her age group. Uh, dislikes both of them a bit. Oh, not much for Aldrich, though. Um, Holly Paw dislikes both of them. No more crush on Pale Paw because she aged out. He aged. Oh my god, I gotta get used to the fact that Holly Paw's a boy. Still has a crush on Heather Bounce, though. Um, about the same. Oh, oh no, what happened? They're not. Oh no. I guess I could have just. <laughs> Um, oh no, Holly, oh, they were so close, now, well, I guess they are still pretty close, but that's so sad, um, okay, Pale Paw, Heather Bounce, Heather, Heather Bounce suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Pale Paw, Unfortunately, neither cat steps up to teach. It makes everything feel awkward and a waste of time. The cats give up and return to camp a little irritated. Yep, that, that checks out with them. Okay. As Hollypaw pads through Silent Clan territory with their entourage, they feel a presence join them. Their connection wavers, and as quickly as the feeling of, comp of company appears, it vanishes. Maybe... Oh, maybe Hollypaw doesn't have as strong of a connection to Star Clan as a normal medicine cat should. Maybe, maybe Hollypaw was never meant to be a medicine cat. And was only reached out to because they're the only one with an even slightly like like above average connection hmm okay though um time skip uh sp sprained their paw on a rock <gasps> pale paw oh 
Aldrich got an injured clanmate a piece of fresh kill. An injured clanmate? Who got injured? Oh, Heather, of course. He, he got Heather, I'm an idiot. Uh, he got Heather Bounce a piece of fresh kill. Okay. Hollypot is daydreaming of Sunday making their clan proud. Uh, I wonder how Hollypot is doing. Re refused to follow their, their mentor's recent orders due to their own morals. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Um. Hopes Hollypot knows how proud they Oh, that's so sweet. Even though Holly Palm might not have as strong of a connection as a normal medicine cat should, it's so sweet that the former medicine cat is still, like, proud of him and, you know, understands. That's so sweet. Okay, let's look at relationships. Pale Paw comes with a clan to sneak out of camp with Heather Bounce. Pale Paw stayed up all night thinking of ways to impress Holly Paw. Heather Bounce thinks they can tell Holly Paw something important. Holly Paw notices how Aldrich is being helpful around camp. Aldrich thinks Holly Paw was nice the other day. Holly Paw is Holly Paw is always nice and helpful. What are you talking about? Okay, so s slowly growing a, a, a relationship with Holly Paw. It looks like her, her thoughts on Holly Paw. Um. Okay. Oh, we're back to a crush. Okay. Um, this looks about the same, I think. Um, yeah. Yep, this looks about the same, aside from, you know, the romantic like coming back. Um, no dislike anymore. Um, still, of course, closer. And really starting to, uh, we're, we're getting close to, to this being, growing from just a crush to, like, Pale Paw fully being in love with Holly Paw. Um, did I look at these already? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, let's go on patrol. Ooh, we can only do... Okay, cats who are going on a double patrol, Aldrich and Holly Paw. As the patrol pads out into Silent Clan territory, Aldrich tells Holly Paw about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for... St Aldrich got a vision? Or a dream? Interesting. Okay. Oh, no. As Pale Paw crosses a beach... Shivering with the cold, there's a creaking, rushing sound like a wave, but out of sync with the- What does this mean? <gasps> Pale paws in the middle of the beach when the flood hits them, freezing water rushing from it inland, sweeping them straight out to sea to die- Pale paw died? No! Oh no! I don't see by a flood- Oh no! <laughs> Pale paw, no! As the clan sits vigil, Holly Paw's voice cracks with grief, talking about the time they had with Pale Paw. Holly Paw trembles, te tearing at their nest, unable to sleep as they brood over Pale Paw's last moments. Did they suffer? Were they scared? Holly Paw can't shake the crushing guilt. Oh no, <laughs> so sad. So you're injured, and you're grieving. Oh, and you can't work either. Oh, no. Oh, at least Aldr Aldrich is offering helpful advice to a gloomy clam. Oh, he's trying to help. Feels completely... <laughs> no, Heather Bounce. <laughs> Pale Paw's dead, and he feels completely at peace because I... How... Oh, my God. That's so mean. <laughs> Make sure the nests in the medicine den are as comfortable as possible. She's he, He's trying to help out Heather Bounce, even though he's grieving over the loss of his best friend. He's still trying to, you know, take care of Heather Bounce as best as he can. Relationships. Heather Bounce wants to explore the whole territory with Holly Paw. Heather Bounce asks Holly Paw to speak up while chatting together. Aldrich muse congratulations for to Heather Bounce for a job well done. Aldrich called Holly Paw the wrong name. Oh no. Oh, it's so sad though. Aldrich is the only one here who can go out on patrol, so don't. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't eat the prey. After all, they have caught enough for the solo hunt. They won't be able to carry it all back to camp. They stop for a quick. St okay, okay. So they brought back plenty of prey. They wouldn't have been able to carry it all back, so they ate one of it. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Okay, what do you think about their ancient ancestors? 
Walking in Heather Bounce's dreams, the leader. Could Heather Bounce be the future leader? Huh. Continues their training on their own. That's so sad. <laughs> See, relationships. That's so sad. Oh my god. Time skip. One whole year in into this. His sprain has healed. Holly Paw wakes up one day after moons of numbness and feels as though the world is less dull. Holly Paw left from a rock but didn't land quite right. Okay, so Holly Paw is still injured. Um, Aldrich is learning more about. P oh. Aldrich! Heather Bounce is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Holly Paw is trying to recruit other apprentices for a quick adventure. Comforting another Star Clan cat, maybe Pale Paw? He's been following the gro gro growth of Aldrich. Imagines what their warriors- I want to see, what would Pale Paw's warrior name have been? Pale Heart. Oh, I like that. that. She was righteous? When did that happen? Oh wait, when have you- since when were you adventurous? Oh, they, they aged up in their personalities. Okay, so uh, let's send out- I guess we could send them out together? Let's send them out together, just because we're low on cats. And I don't want to risk anything. Notices some suspicious paw prints in the wet sand of the beach. Okay, so they just they just chased off a rogue. Okay. Um, anything else to look at? Relationships. Um, Heather Bounce is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Aldrich. Okay, so it looks like Aldrich is just the cat to go to for discussing clan news. Holly Paw is complaining that Aldrich never does anything helpful. He, he does stuff. He went out- he goes on patrols. He brought back so much prey, like, a month ago. Holly Paw, be nice. Aldrich covered for Heather Bounce on something. Well, this is- this- this recording is 48 minutes long, as of now. So I think we'll end this here, or at least this- this episode of Silent Clan here. And, um, we'll pick this up later, eventually. We'll- I'll- I'll- I'll post another one of these eventually and um yeah that's the end of year one of silent clan i hope you all enjoyed this i sure did i i enjoyed this let me know if you if, if this is um a type of video you'd like to see more often and um yeah i guess that's it bye <laughs>